Okay, in this video we're going to show you how to install the aux locker cable into the cover. A uh, couple quick notes on the cables. They should move very freely, as you can see right here. They, uh, they will tend to get stiff if it were up against a very high temp heat source like an exhaust pipe or something like that. If this was up against an exhaust pipe, it could melt the plastic internally and then it would start binding onto the cable. So make sure your cables are free uh, if you're using a used cable. Uh, I'm going to show you how to install this as if the cover was already installed. If it's not installed, it's real simple. You just screw it in until you see a little bit of thread sticking out of this piston right here, which is what the fork's mounted onto. So the center core will screw into that piston. So first thing you want to do is just get it in there and start it maybe a thread and make sure you've got a hold of the fork with the uh, inner cable. Then 17 turns on this because if you if it's already installed you can't see that thread sticking out. So just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Okay. Once you get that installed, then you're gonna want to leave the vice grips on there so the inner cable can't turn, and then you'll want to screw the sheet, the outer sheath, into the locker cover. Get that all the way screwed down inside there. And then you'll want to snug that up with a wrench. And as you can see, we have about one thread sticking out there. It's, if it's give or take one thread, that's not, not too big of a deal. It'll all uh, adjust out at the other end. But that's installed. Of course, you'll note the cable has a long threaded end, usually has a jam nut. That's the end that goes into the shifting end, and the short threaded end goes into the cover. Now this cover is, are, is ready to be installed into, onto your uh, differential housing.